Kristen, I think, asked me uh, to, to be here <coughs> to kind of talk and play, partially because of the fact that a few years ago, um, I'm a, I'm a singer-songwriter in the area, and <laughs> a few years ago, I, I won this wacky contest for Chili's Baby Back Birds jingle, <coughs> to rewrite it, and so, um, so, so instead of just playing a song and trying to show you my credibility, I'll start at ground zero. So here's a Chili's Baby Back Birds jingle that I So anyway, um, so I think that's part of why Kirsten asked me to, to talk and play some songs about writing a happy song. So, so here's an actual song that I wrote that has some substance. Uh, my wife and I have been in Phoenixville for about five years. We really love it. I wrote this when I was in Wilmington, Delaware. It was not <clears throat> our absolute ultimate place to be, but it was really great for what it was. <clears throat> and the concept of the song is about making wherever you are, how, how, however it is in your expectations, home and songs called home.
yeah. So that is a, a song that I wrote. It was actually a more or less a happy song. I kind of thought about it. I realized I don't actually know how to write a happy song particularly. Um, I tend to come from this songwriting uh, camp of, I call it, well, I'm a big fan of this guy, Matthew Sweet, if anybody knows his stuff in like the mid-90s. <coughs> Basically, he writes these songs that sound happy, but they're actually really kind of sad and <laughs> so clear. So I tend to do that, and it kind of makes people uh, think that I'm a little sunnier than I am. But actually, here's a song that, that I wrote, um, and I've had some success even just recently with it. Um, there's a TV show called Life Unexpected on the CW, and they've used this song in a couple episodes. And I wrote this song uh, some years back. Uh, I was inspired by a phone call I got on Christmas Day. I was hanging out with my family, and uh, I got a random phone call uh, from this lady who had apparently seen me in Kmart the day before. <coughs> and I didn't say hi to her in line, and she was really upset. <laughs> and I'm, like, I'm so sorry. I, it was Christmas Day. I'm thinking, you know, people might call me. I hadn't talked to them. Sorry, I don't. And I said her name, and I told her didn't ring a bell. And I'm like, sorry, I just don't know you. I apologize if I don't remember you. And I, you know how to whatever. It degraded into she was very upset and hung up. I ended up calling back a couple more times. The the long version is after like the fifth time, I had to go to the police for being stalked by this lady. <laughs> <laughs> I realized she was completely flat out nuts, and I wasn't the only person. I wanted many people that she totally insanely stoked. It had nothing to do with me or anything. It was totally, you know. So, this is a pleasant sounding song, but it's sort of a love song through the eyes of a stalker. <laughs> <laughs> this is called Go, Go, Go. fortune of working with them as guitar tech for uh, a couple of years. A band from Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and uh, they did some tours opening for Natalie Merchant, uh, who's pretty famous, and Emilio Harris. <coughs> and this is a song of theirs. And this is my, so this will be my most serious moment of talking, that uh, 
when I got news that my dad passed away, we were here in Phoenixville, I had to drive a couple hours. Beth, my wife, drove me, and I was kind of inconsolable. And running out the door to get down there, the first, thing, the only thing I could think of was, I was just, you know, really distraught, and I wanted to grab the Innocence Mission CD. It was the one thing, the one piece of music that, that made me feel most at peace uh, as we were kind of trying to get down there. So this is a song that, <coughs> Oddly enough, it's called Happy the End. It may sound really sad, but I find it to be a very inspiring song. So, anyway, there's a song that makes me happy. <laughs> Hope you like it. Uh, I'll do one more of mine. Uh, oh, I, I just stuck some CDs out. Um, a recent CD of mine called The Long Now, which was inspired by another organization, kind of like Ted, called The Long Now Foundation. And they, have, they do talks about very similar things. Uh, very inspiring. So, this song is called Better Than Myself. It goes like this. It's a war you'll never win 